today I'm going to be reviewing the PW Ridge with the PW Loam Lever. The Ridge is PW's affordable internally routed dropper post. It has a sealed hydraulic cartridge with a coil spring. It still has mechanically actuated cable, so you don't have to deal with the unreliable hydraulic system. You have the option between a 30.9 or a 31.6 diameter. The post only comes in a 125 millimeters of travel. So if you have long legs or run a super short seat tube, you'll have to live with an, the extra seat post sticking out like this. I've put at least 500 miles on this post and it has been working flawlessly. The post actuates smoothly and works as it should. The post gives a firm smacking sound when it's extended so you know the dropper is up. The seat wiggle is not the best. I asked P&W and they said this is totally normal though. I haven't discovered it being more wiggly over time so I'm, worried, I'm not worried about it. Here's the seat wiggle. Here's another PW seat wiggle. Here's the seat wiggle for a reverb. It's not as bad, but this was also like a lot more money. After putting some miles on it, the seat post was getting gritty when lowered. So I did some research and figured out you had to remove the shim. This actually comes off. You can take out this piece. And then you just clean this. And then you put some grease in it. And then you just put it back together. Some reasons I purchased the dropper and lever is because the attention to detail is great like on the dropper post it has the it gives you measurements for where the seat post is sitting the loam lever it's super smooth and it totally lives up to the hype um the rubber on the lever it's a really nice touch and and there's no wearing after all those miles. You can also customize it with different colors and the quality is really good on it. You might be considering the KS Lev Integra dropper post. This one has 125 millimeters of drop and it came stuck on my bike. I had to replace this one because the stanchions were getting marred up. And even after a service, it was still feeling gritty. You might also be considering the KS Love South Pole lever. This has a one by design and will only work for one bys. So that's just like the low lever. This one came with my bike. And I'm pretty sure it comes around 30 bucks. And I would recommend this one. I had no problems with it. I would recommend the Stropper Post. It's a better bargain than others for the money from my experience and is backed by a three year warranty. PW is known for its great quality and customer support, so purchasing this post is a no brainer. Would I recommend the Loam Lever? Once again, yes, but from the reviews, you could also try out the Wolf Tooth. I bought the lever with a huge discount from my coupon, so I could understand why you wouldn't want to spend $70 on a lever. So you could consider the KS Southpaw 1 Up Lever or any 1 by lever that's around the price range of $30. I appreciate you watching all the way through. Thanks for watching. Put any suggestions on what you want to see in the future down below. Guys, you'll never believe. I just seen somebody fall and eat shit in that concrete. Fucking idiot, dude. <laughs>